We're live on Instagram. Hello, everyone. I am going to interview Muriel today. Muriel is easier in French than Muriel in English. So I am going to invite her as soon as I see her join our live. And so we are going to be talking. There she is. I see you, Muriel. In And you can accept it and then you can join and, and we're going to be talking about Muriel's experience with the reset okay so okay. now you can turn off your, your turn down your sound on zoom yeah. yes and there you go i still hear it yeah yeah okay I still hear so like down down as, as kind of zero yes. one as down as you can yeah okay so that's the yeah, minimum that works that that works. Works now. Perfect. Yeah, that works. perfect all right so we're going to be talking about your resetting experience and maybe we can start with um let's start with when you started acting so i start I said that I start acting. I know it, it was like pretty young, <laughs> in fact, starting acting. But um, I started a bit more in the past ten years. Mm -hmm. um, but in fact, for me, it's like about acting. It's about also writing and directing. So I'm pretty much like. Um, uh, <sighs> Involved in the whole process. Yeah, involved in the whole process. Yeah. And my my interest is to be able to talk about topics that really touch me personally. Mm -hmm. I'm a really engaged person, mm -hmm. so in everything that I'm doing is regarding what I believe yeah. in. And so yeah. the acting part is important, but all of it, and I would yeah. say that the the is a creative process yes really like that's like interesting that is, for you yeah exactly Perfect. all and and in all these aspects great and so when you started with this um creative endeavor uh, for what what type of acting studies did you do what type of acting school did you attend or did you attend any in fact i attend none uh -huh. i'm a pretty utter dig great. that Right. human yeah. yeah in all in everything that i've learned and i'm wonderful doing. In fact, yeah. uh, i studied in literature mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah and i've always been writing acting and doing different kind yeah. of things but yeah. in the past 10 years i still did you know different kind of um um training with professional actors uh writers and yeah. and director yeah. um and let's say that what really struck me mm -hmm. weirdly was the fact that by acting um it was all with my body and the freedom of my body Mm -hmm. And it's why I, I had like a, a class one day with someone who began to be my friend, who's a puppeteer, um, mm -hmm. like creating puppeteers, like a director and an actor. Mm -hmm. And is, in his acting, it was really about the body, about mm -hmm. the body expression and freedom. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. starting with him, I really began to understand way more what it is to to be present yeah in in, in my body yeah. and be present like in in my instrument like in in yeah in my body yeah in your instrument in yeah my instrument so yeah so you you've been um self trained and took some trainings um on your path you've been doing this for a while what at which stage did you decide um that you needed to reset what made you think that you needed to reset so i realized that you know since forever if um i always have that little kind of blockade 
-hmm. you know even when i was dancing younger mm -hmm. at first i was oh i can do that i can do this i can mm -hmm. do that but mm -hmm. then i was forcing myself mm -hmm. to get out of my head and stay mm -hmm. in my body mm -hmm. and just do what i enjoyed and strangely in fact i've been you know like doing different kind of activities that was not related mm -hmm. to acting itself. Mm -hmm. By example, Zen meditation mm -hmm. and yoga mm -hmm. and Reiki. Mm -hmm. And by mm -hmm. doing this, mm -hmm. I began to understood a little bit more mm -hmm. that there was something that needed mm -hmm. to, be, to be freed. To be unlocked, yeah. Unlocked yeah. and that with that the fact that unlocking that, mm -hmm. I was way more aware mm -hmm. of of myself and my yeah. abilities to to um, like carry mm -hmm. the character mm -hmm. with freedom. I was more able to listen to mm -hmm. what was happening, mm -hmm. and but in fact, what's interesting is like by acting, maybe it helped me because I don't have that training. I've been always watching, you know, like uh, actor studios and things like that, and reading about it. But I realized that by using the emotion I got inside, especially when I was like really stressed and I was on stage, using mm -hmm. that that kind of oh my god, I'm gonna be sick, I'm gonna mm -hmm. vomit, I can't do that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I was just like using it and surfing on it, yeah. and then. Yeah. Yeah, I was like, yeah, just like totally. really, really present. Mm -hmm. And I don't know how come, but at some point I just felt that I was a little bit blocked mm -hmm. because I've been acting in French and I was also like began to act in English. It's not my, my first language. And I was like, okay, I need something mm -hmm. to, to like go further. So what did the block feel like? Can you give me an example? Was it like you weren't able to be present anymore? Is that how the block felt? Or do you remember yeah. any way, any example of it? I felt that in fact, I began to be really anxious mm. when I had to do like proper um, casting. Yeah. And depending, because usually I feel well the people around me, mm -hmm. you know, I'm like looking, like mm -hmm. observing, and then I'm like, okay, okay, I surf on this, I surf on that, like I, I'm okay. But I realized that when I was in a situation a little bit more harsh, mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, Mm -hmm. when people yeah. were not smiling at me and yeah. not just farting but it is me I was like yeah and I, I felt that then mm -hmm. I couldn't be really free and really show what I can yes. do so there unless you had the feeling that people were liking you mm -hmm. you wouldn't feel free you would start to yeah. loop in anxiety okay exactly. and that's when you des decided to do the reset yeah yes. yeah and yeah. so how, how did the reset change that for you? Oh my God. <laughs> so <laughs> that's the question. So for me, uh, I would say that because I started the reset, um, in 2020 mm -hmm. and then it was really intense yeah. and, and so I quit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I stopped. And then you and came back. And I came back because it was, it was like, um, was haunting me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and mm -hmm. at, a, at the same time, mm -hmm. the things mm -hmm. I began to learn was mm -hmm. still there inside me. And I was like, yeah, my instinct was telling me that it was the right direction to go. Yeah. And I was like, I need to finish that. And mm -hmm. so I just finished like the the journey and for me right now I can't tell exactly about the casting element but just like the overall feeling confidence yeah. and feeling of mm -hmm. empowerment in myself 
Mm-hmm. It's like in so many ways since the beginning of that, at first it was difficult, but now it's like being me, being fully radiant mm-hmm. in everyday life, mm-hmm. being unapologetic, just mm-hmm. telling people right away what I feel yeah. and what I want yeah. like no thinking no bullshit yeah. for real it's like the difference is like night and day that, that is huge Muriel that's huge to that be able is, to just be yourself yeah. and say exactly what you need is so rare nowadays yeah. it's so rare exactly and I feel because like during that time, it was like an intense time because I've been, you know, traveling and I've been in different places when I was doing the reset. And so it was a bit unsettling somehow um, in different environment where it was a bit harsh to be sometime. And, but I feel just so, uh, how can I say that? I just feel that now I know in which direction and what I need to be doing for my career, for myself. I'm just like, okay, it's is where, where I'm going. Mm. And it's not even like that I have a specific plan. I just have the confidence. Yeah. It's actually, I don't really use the word confidence, but it's really like a self-trust, yeah. like, like, yeah. like, a, like a clarity, a knowing that inside all as yeah. well. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. I just feel that it's all going to be all right. It's going to be ours, but I just have no doubt about that. It's, you know, in the direction I need to go. Yeah. Which before I was like, oh, I'm not sure, you know, like as I choose, it's sometimes like, okay, am I doing the right thing? Is yeah. it like for me? Will it work? Oh mm-hmm. no, like I, I'm too old now, and etc. Mm-hmm. etc. Et and now, in fact, because I was so busy during that reset and mm-hmm. moving around, all I could think of was I can't wait mm-hmm. to um, actually be actively being in, in creation, actively create. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And so, so now I'm just excited mm-hmm. instead of being like apprehensive and doubting myself. I just, yeah, I, yeah. yeah nothing, so I just can't wait to sit and do that. Yeah. And you I know what it is? The, yes. the thing is that when, uh, when we're not able to be inside of our instrument because there's anxiety about, you know, that and doubt, well, the energy is being leaked out constantly. And once you restore mm-hmm. your sense of self and your capacity to be you, your energy is not busy trying to fix what's apparently wrong inside mm-hmm. of me. And so your energy is available for creation. It's not busy surviving. Yeah. It's not busy trying to get better in order to survive. And it's not busy trying to be safe, trying to be validated, trying to be loved. It's just available to create, which is a very different um, functioning of your system. Yeah, yeah, yeah mm-hmm. definitely, definitely. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I was mm-hmm. writing yesterday about this, and it's exactly the thought that I had. Mm-hmm. It's just like I feel I was in the train. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I love the train because I can think and write. And coming back from Cape Town, and I was like on my way, yeah. and I was like, "Wow!" I was like, "I just feel mm-hmm. like there was sunshine outside, and I felt like the power of that sunshine, mm-hmm. and I mm-hmm. felt the same way I was feeling when I was four years old." Yes, because I remember the biggest yes. joy of my life yeah. when I was that age. Yeah. It was to just sit mm-hmm. into the sunshine yeah. on the floor. There was the sunshine. I was just sitting there and sitting there in my head for Beautiful. hours, Beautiful. just creating things, creating games or just thinking mm-hmm. and feeling the power yeah. in the sunshine and just taking it in. And I was mm-hmm. there. I was like, that's what I feel. And I yeah. felt almost like it's super powerful. 
power. Yeah. I felt I was both definitely attuned to me and my feeling yeah. and I feeling understand. the sunshine mm -hmm. and also seeing what outside yeah. and just being able to, 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 you know, like, just feeling it. So I'm feeling both. Well, what, yeah, what you're talking about yeah, at the same oneness. time. What you're describing is oneness. There's no more separation between you and the elements because there isn't. It's energy, right? We are made up of the same thing. So yeah. when we're not um, fully ourselves, we're feeling very separate because there's something wrong with us and we need to mm. fix it all the time. But when you come back home, when you come back fully in your instrument, fully alive, fully free, fully instinctive, mm -hmm. you're connected with everything. And yes, you are a superpower in that case, because everything's with you, not everything's against you. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. What a it's beautiful exactly that. Right. Yeah. 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 And at the same time, I was so inspired by all this. Mm -hmm. And I felt that my, that my brain, but my creativity mm -hmm. was also like yeah. really blossoming yeah. at the same time. It's endless possibilities. It's probably your heart more than your head that yes. you were feeling. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Endless possibilities. Yeah. So yeah. So that is definitely Beautiful. different. That's one yeah. of the best thing. And there's a lot of exercise that we've been doing yeah. during um the reset that, that the reset mm -hmm. that i'm keeping in my yeah. everyday life of because course. it's just <laughs> nourishing my my being yeah and yeah absolutely help me to stay connected to me yeah yeah <laughs> wonderful thank you for sharing yourself so beautifully Muhia. and i'm i'm glad we crossed paths um and that you were able to find yourself again so that you can be with all of it. Beautiful. Thank you. Man, yeah. Thank you for taking the time to uh, welcome me and yeah. thank you for your support. Yeah. You, you never, you didn't let me, <laughs> let me uh, stay away from myself. Yeah. So no, that's what, that's what we love to do. And when anyone, you know, quits because it happens because it's it, it can be scary it doesn't have to but it can get scary you know it's it's a wonderful to be able to scoop you back up and go no nope, come on let's keep going yeah <laughs> yeah. Maybe, yeah. yeah but I'm, I'm glad you showed up because because you're part of it and you're big and beautiful and so your voice needs to be heard thank you Muriel. Thank you. Lovely Joe. to see you. Yeah, yes, I'll see you soon. Yes, yeah, see right. you soon. Bye, bye. Take care. Bye, you guys.